I just want to discuss some observations regarding after one's life has been brought upside down and inside out and you think that you were at the worst time of your life which you probably are at the time at that moment and it drags on for months on end and possibly even years on end when you recover and all the dust settles you start going through a healing process a process that you don't even realize that you were going through from day one, you're stripping yourself down. The elements of what made you, you, your identity. What made you were the events and experiences that you lived through in your life. It is your past experiences that caused you to become that slave. All the contact that you had with people and their behaviors, how they treated you, how you reacted, how they reacted to you, your reaction to their reaction, becoming a carbon copy of what society expected you to be. Mix this up with media strong mind segmentation, whilst in our previous blue pill mindset, then you have a deadly mix. There are times when you realize it's almost impossible to break away from that slave mentality. Maybe we can call this the blue pill descent, but you've pretty much walked away from being that slave, being that drone. You don't have that mentality anymore, and you've walked away. You've stripped all that down, thrown away the rubbish, and now you've built these new layers of yourself by yourself. You've found yourself. Just like being aware that you were constructing a building, you start with the footing, the pads, you add the steel bars, the mesh. Compare a concrete building with a solid foundation to a simple tent. But then, compare the man that lives in that tent and doesn't know that concrete buildings exist. You used to be that man that didn't know that concrete buildings exist. You no longer view the world and society with the blue pill glasses that were forcefully put on you without your consent. You see the world now through these eyes that see truth and see things for what they really are. You've moved on and you may be isolated. You may feel isolation and you may feel lonely. But when you remember the bad days, those bad days that you lived as a slave for that person, just being a drone and nothing but a mere utility, and you compare the isolation that you're living through now to what you were and how you were living whilst you were being a slave, you take that deep breath. And what it is, is nothing but a breath of fresh air, and you hold it momentarily and you release that breath. You remember the abuse that was inflicted upon you, the hurt, the pain, and yet the attempts of shaming never cease so that they can draw you back to that hell. No way. Take a deep breath again and compare the two situations. The choice should be easy, should it not? You realize that this is the pinnacle of your life. This is beauty. This isolation is heaven. Sometimes it may feel like hell, but hey, nothing can be compared to you losing what you love most, the innocent and helpless that were forced to be away from you and you away from them. You've been there, that is hell. That fire rages and hurts more than any flame could. You've tasted that bitterness and nothing could ever be as bad. With every step that you take, as you walk away from this hell, the better and more fruitful your life becomes. This is the real heaven, the heaven that we can touch, smell, taste and see, where this is as good as it gets. No one can hurt you anymore. You're above everything. You're one with the universe, above everything in the sense where you're above all these materialistic things, above and beyond where people can hurt you. You see the bigger picture. You are the bigger picture. You've left from being behind these bars that were put in front of you since the day that you were born. You didn't see them. They used to be these bars that restrict you. They use these verbal bars of legislation to control you and keep you away from what you wanted to protect. These bars were invisible and then you saw them, 
Then you broke them down, tore them down like a red hot knife going through butter. You're flying like an eagle now. You see everything for what it really is. You're disinfected. You see these vessels around you and you realize that this is nothing but a virus. These emotional vampires just there to extract utility like mosquitoes that are looking to draw blood and you've sprayed on the air guard. You knowing what vampires are about is that air guard and how you defend yourself from that. Disinfecting yourself is caused by going celibate, not wasting your energy. When you're celibate, you have cleansed yourself. You don't require any more dopamine hits because when you associate yourself with these vessels, all it is, you pretty much putting yourself in this perpetual motion. This foreverlasting need of validation without you even knowing it. You need that hit of drugs. It's like you smoking weed, taking heroin or cocaine or anything like that. It's the same thing and you need to go back to it. You need to take that hit because you need that rush. But when you block all of that out and you've got the error guard sprayed on you properly, thoroughly, more resilient than ever, then you can truly become one with the universe because you've disinfected yourself. You don't need it. That's it. You're clean. You walked away. You're on top of that mountain looking down on everything. You take in that deep breath of fresh air and you say to yourself that you were so grateful for this isolation. I'm not lonely. It's just that sometimes I thought I was lonely, but I'm not really lonely. I like this isolation. I'm connected to the universe. It may be tough at times, but it's rewarding in multiple ways, including financial, because you don't have some leech pretty much hanging around you just to take everything away that you've worked so hard for. You don't have somebody always buzzing in your ear trying to control your life. You don't have that threat where if you don't do exactly as they ask, then they can call the police to remove you from your own home. But it's much more than that. You realize that you have so much more space, not only in the physical realm, but even space within the mind. The mind is property. It may be difficult to describe or even understand, but one has mind space consumed with inner hurricanes of turmoil and cyclones of abuse. There's no anchor with a frame of mind like this. Without these problems, a man realizes how vast the 3D space in his mind actually is. It takes him to a different level of understanding. With that also, understanding that the universe is actually greater than what he thought in the beginning. His mind is a part of the universe, is it not? He has that much space in his mind that now he has room for filling in that space with intellectually stimulating conversation with friends that can reciprocate. He has space to allow it be absorbed by the beauty of casting out a fishing line, not concerned about whether or not he catches a fish, but possibly just to gaze at the stars in amazement, taking in that deep breath of fresh air and appreciating what is in front of him. It's about you now. It's about survival. And it's easy because you've disinfected yourself. Breathe easy.